a relation between the different colligative properties. So here I take there are three points. First relation between the osmotic pressure and relative lowering vapor pressure. Next relation between the osmotic pressure and elevation in the boiling point. Next relation between the osmotic pressure and a depression in the freezing point. These three cases I take as here first year. So first relation between osmotic pressure and relative lowering vapor pressure. We know that <coughs> pi is equal to C into R into T. This is the formula for the osmotic pressure. Or we can write here this one pi is equal to N2 into e, V R into T because concentration formula. Number of moles of a solute divided by volume of the solution. This is taken as equation 1. Okay, but uh, I want to, I want here next one relate to lowering vapor pressure. We know that relate to lowering vapor pressure formula P naught minus P divided by P naught is equal to N2 divided by N1 for a dilute solution. Okay, this is for a dilute solution because uh, actually formula you know that N, N2 plus N1 for a dilute solution N1 value is very, uh, sorry N2 value is very less as compared to N1. That's why instead of N2 plus N1 I take as N1. Okay, N2 divided by N2. So that's what is N2 value here. Okay, N2 value find out in this uh, case. So, but uh, another point you know that N2 value I want to find out, but N1 n1 value you know that okay so first find n2 value n2 is equal to n2 is equal to p naught minus p divided by p naught okay n2 into n1 n1 or make arrangement or is equal to n2 value is equal what is n sorry n1 value so w1 divided by m1 into p naught minus p divided by p naught this is taken as equation 2 so n2 value substitute in equation 1 now substitute substitute equation 2 in 1 therefore pi is equal to what is n2 value you know that w1 into m1 okay into v here v there okay here rt r into t here p naught minus p divided by p naught okay but uh, weight divided by volume is known as a density therefore i can write here pi is equal to density into r into t divided by m equal to p naught minus p divided by p naught okay here one point remember for a particular solute solute particles it means a particular solute particle m value remains constant t constant r constant and density also constant here pi directly proportional to the elevation in uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, relative to lowering vapor pressure osmotic pressure directly proportional to relative lowering vapor pressure from this equation so this is the relation between the osmotic pressure and uh, relative lowering vapor pressure i go for the next equation relation pi and delta tb what is the relation here huh? so once again same we know that pi is equal to c into r into t so our pi is equal to n2 into v into rt taken as equation once once again taken as equation one but uh, delta tb delta tb is equal to m into kf molarity into kf so i can write here uh, kf okay into uh, you know that n2 into 1000 divided by divided by w1 it's correct huh? because actually you know k molarity formula 1000 into or w2 into 1000 divided by m2 into w1 this is the formula for m molarity so w2 divided by m2 its weight of the number of moles of a solute divided by w1 
So this is taken as equation 2. Uh, sorry, first you simplify this equation. So n2 value find out. So n2 is equal to on simplifications delta tb into w1 into kf divided by 1000. Okay. So kn2 value sorry, delta tf delta tb into w. So divided by n2 value I want kf into 1000. This is the value of which one uh, in 2. So now this is taken as equation 2. Substitute equation 2 in 1. Substitute equation 2 in 1. So pi is equal to what is n2 value? De delta tb into w1 weight of the so okay weight of the this is w1 weight of the solvent divided by kf into 1000 into v here v into rt but uh, weight divided by volume taken as a density therefore pi is equal to delta tb into density into rt divided by kf into 1000 kf into 1000 so kf this is the formula pi is equal to this is the final formula so from this equation we conclude that we conclude that pi proportional to delta t because kf value constant density is constant therefore pi directly proportional to the dip, elevation in the boiling point when elevation of boiling point will be changes pi values also changes okay so this is a relation next time go for the relation between the pi and delta tf so you know that pi is equal to c into rt or pi is equal to same way n2 divided by v into r into t taken as equation 1. So next uh, simplification uh, delta t b is equal to m in sorry delta t f okay, into k f. So but uh, m value you know that so n2 into 1000 divided by w1 into k f. So n2 value find out here. Uh, so n2 value is equal to delta tf into w1 divided by 1000 into kf taken as equation 2. Now substitute substitute equation 2 in equation 1. Substitute equation 2 in 1. So simplification. Uh, so pi is equal to n2 what is n2 value here n2 value delta tf into w1 divided by 1000 into kf into r into t uh, into here v volume will be there divided by volume but uh, w1 divided by v weight divided by volume taken as a density so pi is equal to delta tf into density into r into t divided by 1000 into kf this is the relation pi is equal to delta tf into d into rt divided by 1000 into kf this is the relation here so here also osmotic pressure of the solution directly proportional to the elevation depression in the preheating point this is the relation between these two okay so these are the relations here uh, between the different uh, uh, different uh, colligative properties okay next uh, relation between the elevation in a boiling point and relative lowering vapor pressures so next one one more is relation between the depression of preheating point and uh, uh, relative lowering vapor pressures what is the relation between them here delta tf and and uh, relative lowering vapor pressure we know that delta tf delta tf is equal to formula m into kb or 
m can written as a n2 into 1000 divided by w1 into kp this is taken as equation 1 okay next uh, this value you know that so p0 minus p divided by p0 is equal to n2 divided by n1 plus n2 but uh, for a dilute solution number of solute particle is very less therefore therefore equation p0 minus p divided by p0 is equal to n2 divided by n1 you get it so n2 value find out here what is n2 value so now implies that n2 is equal to n2 is equal to so n2 value is equal to same a p0 minus p divided by p0 into n1 but n1 value you know that so n1 is equal to p0 minus p divided by p0 n1 w1 into m1 taken as equation 2 so this is actually n2 value so now substitute n2 value in equation 1 so therefore substitute substitute equation 2 in equation 1 so now delta tb is equal to so n2 value you get it here what is n2 value p0 minus p divided by p0 into w1 into m1 into 1000 into kb divided by w1 so w1 w1 get cancelled here so we get p0 minus p divided by p0 okay into 1000 into kb divided by m1 so this is a delta tp here also relation same they are directly proportional to each other delta tp and elevation of boiling point uh, sorry relative lowering vapor pressure they are directly proportional to each other for a particular solvent molecule so next one is uh, relation between the delta tf and uh, this one also same types of relations here also so i derive that one so method same so delta tf is equal to m into kf you know that so but m is equal to n2 into 1000 divided by w1 into kf this is the value of a uh, kf m molarity taken as equation 1 now what is the formula after this one so p0 minus p divided by p0 is equal to n2 divided by n1 plus n2 but, but you know for the dilute solutions this is a I can written as n2 divided by n1 so n2 value find out here so n2 is equal to equal to n2 p0 minus p divided by p0 into n1 but the n1 value you know that p0 minus p divided by p0 equal to w1 divided by m1 this is taken as a n2 so i substitute this is taken as equation 2 substitute equation 2 in equation 1 so delta tf is equal to n2 what's the n2 value p0 minus p divided by p0 into 1000 into uh, uh, into this one n2 value w1 divided by m1 into 1000 into kf divided by w1 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 get cancelled p0 minus p divided by p0 okay into 1000 divided by kf into m1 so this is the relation between the delta tf and 
relative lowering vapor pressure here delta tf is directly proportional to the relative lowering vapor pressure so so these are the different relation between the colligative property thank you